Now, in this question, we're given the simultaneous equations a equals 3b and the log of a in base 3 plus the log of b in base 3 equals 2. And we're asked to solve for a and b, giving a and b as exact values where a and b are positive values. So how are we going to do this? Well, first of all, like all simultaneous equations, I would suggest you number them, say, 1 and 2, so the reader can identify which equations you're working with. And the method I'm going to use is substitution. And that is, I'm going to substitute 4a in equation 2. Wherever I see an a, I'm going to replace it with 3b. So we need to tell the reader that's what we're doing, so I'm going to say sub 1 into equation 2. So therefore, what we're going to have is that instead of log a in base 3, it will be the log of 3b in base 3. So we have the log of 3b in base 3 plus the log of b in base 3. So log of b in base 3, and that equals 2. Now we have a log equation, and when you handle any log equation, you must always reduce it down to two terms. One term on one side of the equal sign and another term on the other side of the equals. And in this particular equation, we've got two terms on the left-hand side and one term on the right. So we need to clean this up. Well, it's a well-known fact, a fact that you should know about logs, is that if you have the log of something plus the log of something else, then it's the same as the log of the two values being multiplied together. I can jot that rule down for you, just as a reminder. The log of any value, let's say a, in a particular base, let's say c, plus the log of another value, b, it must be in the same base though, c in this case, is identical to the log of a times b in that base c. So, using that rule here, what I've got is that the log of 3b plus the log of b in base 3 is the same then as the log of 3b times b, 3b squared in other words, in base 3. And that equals 2. So you can see I've reduced this down to two terms, one term on one side of the equals and one term on the other. Now we've got to that stage, what I need to do is remove the log, in other words, anti-log this. And by anti-logging, we have that 3b squared is equal to the base, which is 3, raised to the power 2. So what that means now is that I've got 3b squared equals 3 squared, which is 9. And so if I divide both sides by 3, I've got b squared equals 3. And then if I take the square root of 3, we have b equals the root of 3. Now normally it would be plus or minus root 3, but we're told that b is a positive value. So we can drop the minus 3, root 3 that is, and give root 3. So now that we've got b is root 3, it's a simple case of just finding a, and so all I need to do is substitute b equals root 3, say, into equation 1. So if we just say then that we're going to sub b equals root 3 into equation 1, we find that we get a equals 3 times b, so that would be 3 root 3. So Therefore, at the end of the day, what we have is a is 3 root 3 and b is root 3. We we're asked to give them exact values, and so don't use your calculator, just leave them like this. And that brings us then quite nicely to the end of this question.